Hi, I'm Terry Wallman, and I'm in my studio with... Melissa Manchester. Melissa Manchester. And we just finished um, co-producing this really spectacular album of Melissa's, her 20th record, called You Gotta Love the Life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions, because we don't generally have the, the luxury of just sitting and, and talking. We're usually working. Right. Um, so I'm just going to start. Okay. And Melissa doesn't know what I'm going to ask. No, I don't. This is the, the first album of yours that you've been able to co-produce. Right. How would you describe your experience compared to writing and recording your very first record? Uh, well, uh, 20 albums ago. Okay. okay. This, was, this was an album of um, a great liberation because I was not beholden to a record company. And even though on my first album, I was signed to Bell Records, and in those days, uh, there were singles labels and album labels, and Bell was a singles label, but they signed me as an album artist. So they left me alone, basically. Right, you had a lot of creative freedom on your very I first did. record. But this one, because I've, I've had such a long career now, you know, 45 years, I had more of a sense of myself, mm -hmm. uh, I had more of a sense of how to be in a studio, how to work with people. Um, how to work with musicians, and so I had a greater sense of musical discernment. Right. Yeah. How do you like being a co-producer? I really liked it. You did? It's <laughs> I fun, really, isn't well, it? I really liked it with you, you know? I mean, you know, you, first of all, you, you know so much about the independent artist path, mm -hmm. and you were so generous in, in, in enlightening myself and, and Sue Holder. Um, and you were very kind. And besides your great musicianship, you were um, extremely concerned with me feeling like I was heard mm -hmm. and that I felt that the songs were, the new songs in particular, were the most um, comprehensively brought to life. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a lot. That's a lot for a singer-songwriter. Um, so it was lovely. That was my goal mm -hmm. for you. And, and actually that gets me to another question. Mm -hmm. Um, about feeling heard, mm -hmm. you know, that was, um, you know, when you told me that in the studio and, and when I read it included in your liner notes, I felt, it made me really happy mm -hmm. and uh, because I felt like we accomplished what we had set out to do. Yes. Tell me just a little bit more, what does that mean to you really being heard for the first time? That's a lovely artist? question. Well, when I first started, I was signed as a singer-songwriter in the 70s. I was in that first wave, second wave of singer-songwriters. But as, as I got deeper into my career in the early 80s, what happened, what was showing up was electronics. Mm -hmm. The producers had more toys to play with. Right. And so it moved from being an artist milieu to a producer's. And so... The sound became more important than the song. Thank you, exactly. Yeah. And um, and I started to lose my way. Mm -hmm. I started to lose my sense of, of footing, of right. position. Mm -hmm. And I also felt that um, because I was being given songs to sing, mm -hmm. um, the being heard part was really about when you find yourself actually having to compete to find space on your record for your own songs, which reflect your point of view, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that I hit a home run every time out. Mm -hmm. It's just that I felt that I was not being heard right. at all. And so that was very right. complicated, very, very complicated for me to, you know, feel grateful that I was being given the opportunity, but, yeah. but still I was just losing my footing. Mm -hmm. So that, that really um, that really did some damage on my soul for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I could see how. Mm -hmm. You wanna play your music, better show your stuff for the night. Down, it gets you down before you know it. You turn around and do it again. You gotta love the life, the hunger in your heart. You make a sacrifice for what you do is who you are. You gotta love. Baby, you gotta rise, give it another try 